guests uh, with us tonight. Okay. Ricardo is our soloist supreme. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Lots of connections here. She grew up in Norwich. Do you, how many of you know a little bit of Norwich? Here we go. <laughs> and she went through the Mary Cross School, where I was her first grade music teacher. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she went to Hammond High, and she actually, uh, her aunt is in the group, Aunt <laughs> Kathy, right here. And she sang with the group during her senior year in high school. And she also did a bit of conducting. So um, we are welcoming her back. She's gone away, though, to study um, voice and music at the Manhattan School of Music. She went off to New York. She's about to enter her senior year. And she's just blossomed as a singer, but she remains the lovely Vermont spirit that we've always known. <laughs> so Lily's going to sing with us the next piece, and then she'll have a, a piece of her own to tell you about.
composer of this next piece um, had moved into a new apartment in New York City, and he had to make a phone call to John Carlo Manotti, who was another um, American composer and his partner, but he couldn't remember the number, and he was calling from a telephone booth, so he called the phone operator, and she said she couldn't give him that information, but when she found out he was Samuel Barber, she asked him to sing Sure on this Shining Night, once he did, she gave him the number. <laughs>